Hey guys, my name is Peter Freeman of Crunch Time Coaching and creator of TennisCon. Now, welcome to the fast track, your secret weapon to perfect technique, developing incredible cardio fitness for tennis, and your unlimited hitting partner to where you can get in the best groove possible. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how you can use the fast track to develop perfect forehand technique, perfect backhand technique, and perfect volleys. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's get into this lesson. Now, why is the fast track so powerful? If you wanna develop perfect technique, this is the way to do it. We're in what I call a closed environment, meaning that we've taken a lot of variables away, so you can just focus on your technique. It's what the pros do. If you watch the pros behind the scenes, they do a lot of shadow stroking, and they also have a coach feeding them underhand feeds to make sure that each movement is perfect. And that's what the fast track is like. It's like having your own personal coach right there feeding you underhand. So I also recommend that when you use the fast track, you video yourself as well so you can check your technique. What you don't wanna do is just come out here and whack balls without really thinking about what you're doing. You wanna make sure that you're hitting all the checkpoints. So in this video, I'm gonna show you each important checkpoint that you wanna hit, whether you're hitting a tossman forehand, a chip forehand, a toss and backhand or a slice backhand and your volleys. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the forehand ground stroke with toss spin. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's get into the toss spin forehand. The first thing to get toss spin for free, you can hit toss spin with any grip, but I think the semi-western grip is your best bet for easy toss spin. So what you wanna do is just drop the racket and pick it up like you're holding a frying pan. This is gonna put the strings down. When the strings are down, I can swing naturally without having to make any tweaks in my wrist keeping the palm down and come up to the ball, I'm gonna be imparting tossman. That's a ball that goes end over end. It enables you to swing at max racket head speed with a lot of confidence, being very aggressive, but super consistent. So I'm gonna hit against the fast track with some tossman. I'm gonna walk you through the key checkpoints you wanna do as you're focused on this. So all you gotta do is just turn it on and get back <laughs> and we're in business. So. The first thing I want you to work on is your off hand. I want you to point out to the ball, to the side. Okay, we want to the side, and we want the ball outside of that hand. Okay, so every time I got a strong off hand. If you watch the pros, you're always seeing this off hand. You watch people who are more recreational players, the off hand is this here and kind of flopping, right? They're not using it. They end up arming their shot. But when I set this off hand here, I can use more of my core get more rotation into that shot. You notice I'm also getting back on my toes with a little split step. So not just standing here hitting like this, guys. Not just doing this. But what you wanna do is get a little boxer shuffle in between each shot, and you can really lengthen out your swing too. So that's the next thing I really love about the fast track is since you're swinging at that net, you can really reach out Pretend you're trying to hit almost through the net, and this will help you get a longer runway. The next thing I want you to work on is getting a consistent fall through. So you notice how I'm always reaching out for the ball and catching the racket in my right hand, okay? So when I'm done, I'm catching the racket in the right hand every time. Now I'm in a great groove. And you just get here and hit, let it rip. Final tip on your toss spin forehand, is make sure you're loading that back leg. Load up and push in. Load up, push in. That gives you extra easy power. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, let's go to the backhand. That's really awesome. No, no, we're sticking with the forehand. And especially for your, all you doubles players out there, I'm about to give you a great gift, the chip forehand. You wanna be in the continental grip. This is your serving grip. This is the shake hands grip. Tennis at an advanced level is a game of edges. We wanna be attacking tennis balls with edges. When we're hitting topspin, we're attacking with the top edge. When we're hitting a chip or a volley, you want to be attacking with the bottom edge here. So I'm coming at the ball like this, as Connor Casey, one of my favorite online instructors now says, you want to get that 45 degree angle. So you want to get there 
and hit that volley. What you, the key is do not break the wrist. So what I wanna do is lay the wrist back, lock it in, and then block that volley. I want the strings pointing right at the fast track. If I break my wrist at all, I'm not gonna be hitting good chips, and I'm not gonna be hitting good volleys. So this is not only gonna help your chip, which you can use for a chip and charge, you can use for a nice defensive lob. When Carlos Alcaraz hits that devastating drop shot, he is using the chip volley technique. So let's go through this and try some. Hey, sorry, it's super easy. All you gotta do is get your tennis balls, you throw them in here, you turn on the fast track, get back, and you're in business right away. Now I'm in that continental grip, and notice what I wanna do. I basically wanna take my strings and push it right out to the net. Here, lock on the net. Find the ball, lock out. I'm telling people under a 4-0 level, if you can just do two things, you will not lose a doubles match under 4-0, and that is to find the ball, watch how quick I find it, and then don't break the wrist. Find the ball, don't break the wrist. Notice how I can hit some good power here too because what I'm doing is I'm connecting the back leg, the hip, and the shoulder. I'm doing a nice push out to the ball. And I can hit these balls pretty firm. So I can do a great chip and charge if I want to. Another thing you can practice is go one firm and then practice a Carl Sakharov's drop shot. Hit it light. All right, so now before we move it on the backhand, we're gonna have another very important drill, and that is changing from a topspin forehand in the grip to a chip forehand with the grip. Now this is great practice because I know so many recreational players, they struggle that once they hit an approach shot, they struggle to find the continental grip for their volley, so they're still in the forehand grip and they make a lot of mistakes in the net. And there's so much pressure to try and get this down and done in match play. Well, now that you have your fast track here, your ultimate hitting partner, you can practice changing your grip so when you get out there in the match, you can actually make this work. So I'm gonna turn on the fast track and you're gonna see me alternate, see me alternate between top spin. I just changed the grip, now I'm in slice. So what I want you to do is basically on the follow through. Follow through, now I changed already. So before I even get down to ready position, which I don't think a lot of recreational players do, I've changed my grip. So this will really help too if you wanna to go to the net. So watch what I'm about to do here. I'm gonna do this last chip, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit an approach shot, change my grip, volley. Great drill. So I'm gonna come here, approach shot, change my grip, volley. One more time. Approach shot, change my grip, volley. Oh, that feels so good. All right, so now that we've got that done, we're gonna to go to the backhand. I'm gonna show you a one hand toss and backhand today because that's what I do, all right? So I'm sure you can find a lot of great videos on the two hand toss spin online. This is for the one handers out there. So first thing I wanna do is make sure I'm in the right grip. I call this the motorcycle grip. I get my knuckles on top like they're handlebars. If I'm down with my knuckles here, lower on the bevel, now I can't get a lot of power. And this is a big mistake that a lot of recreational players make when they're trying to hit topspin. But right here, if I do that, I get into a power position on contact. Think of it like knuckling up for contact. Right there, you can see I look nice and strong and I wanna be way out in front too with my hip. So what we're looking to do is we're gonna get the racket tip up, we're gonna get a nice unit turn. Now notice when I'm doing this, my strings are actually facing back to the fast track. That's what you want. You want those strings to go back to whatever fence is behind you. And then from there, I want to really bend my legs and swoop down beneath the ball, up and hit, we're getting to that knuckle up position, and then following through and get some nice counterbalance. Okay guys, so now we're on the back end. Remember, we've got our motorcycle grip. Also, really loading the back leg. Power in the back leg, stride forward. Power in the back leg, stride forward. And then finally, what I want you to focus on is the counterbalance 
with the off hand. Pushing it back. Coming here, pushing it back. See that? That way you can really feel your chest come out to the ball, give you a longer runway. Really swing out to the target. All right, so now that we've got our backhand toss been ripping, we're gonna work on our chip on our backhand as well. So what we wanna do is we're, we don't wanna work on hitting the ball off the bounce first. We actually wanna volley the ball in the air because I find that the contact point is either gonna make or break your backhand chip. And most people, remember how I said this is a game of edges? Most people lead with their edge too much open so their ball ends up floating a lot. They can't really get that nice push and bite through the court that they're looking for. So what we wanna do is have the perfect contact point, which I call the perfect Pete. Pete Sampras, one of the best volleyers of all time. When you watch his volley, it'd be very, very still, perfectly stable racket face like that. This is the angle we wanna hit at. So you basically wanna volley and freeze. So to hit these volleys, what you wanna do is the first thing you wanna do is have space. You don't wanna to be too close to be elbowing your volley. See, if I elbow my volleys, notice that one, oh, I got no strength, no control. You want your volley here, and out. And when you're done, keep the racket head still. Keep that racket head still. Again, you're trying to get your strings to finish on the fast track. Have those strings pointing to the fast track. Notice how I'm also counterbalancing with my non-dominant hand. It's going back and up. Nice firm wrist at contact. You wanna do this so you feel that your contact is money then you're gonna have a good chance at hitting a backhand slice on the bounce. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the backhand ship. Since we're further away, from the ball, from the net, we need a bigger backswing, especially if you're at the baseline. So I call the backhand preparation the Novak violin. Remember at Wimbledon when he won, he's basically doing this for his daughter, okay? So he's playing the violin for her because she loves the violin. So that's the same position you wanna get your racket back into, which is gonna jut the racket butt out. This is a power position. So I wanna get it here and notice how there's just a little bend in the elbow. Again, I can't emphasize this more enough. The more bend you have in your elbow, you're gonna elbow your slice, it's gonna not have any power. The more you just have a little slight relaxed bend in it, get the Novak violin ready, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push with our hip and our shoulder, our front shoulder, and we'll make that perfect peak contact, carry it out, and repeat until you get to a great rhythm here on the fast track. Let's try some. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I have space, that I'm not getting too close. Then I can really knife in there with my shoulder. So I'm using a lot of power in my back leg, really leaning on the ball. The more you can lean that front shoulder in, you're gonna be able to drive your slice through the court instead of having it float. All these slices right now feel really, really good. I'm feeling excellent power on the ball. And so I'm going through. So you see here, I'm able to get really good drive, and I wanna reach out. I wanna reach out for the fast track. The more I can dig in and reach out, I hit the ball harder. Now, again, what we can do, once we feel we got our drive working, we can work on our touch. So now I'm just gonna hit the ball lightly, little drop shot, a little more of a feathery shot, so we can work on our touch game with our chip too. Then you could work on power, Let's do that again. We can work on power. That was a good one. And touch. All right, so what's next? You guessed it. Now we got the toss spin going. We got the chip going. Now we want to add variety to our game. That's when we really get hard to figure out, hard to beat, easy to win matches. So I'm going from my motorcycle grip to Novak's violin and the Continental grip. Motorcycle grip, Novak's violin. Now when do I switch? 
as I hit that toss and boom, and I hit it, then as I'm coming back to ready, especially if I know I'm coming to the net, I've already changed my grip. So for this drill, what I want you to do is practice when you get to the follow through on the way down. See, I'm just opening up my hand there. Now I'm in the continental grip. So practice that. The more you can change your grip on the way down to ready position, especially when you know you hit an approach shot and your next shot's gonna be a volley, you wanna change grips before you even get your racket down to ready. So here we go. I'm gonna hit top spin. Now I've already changed the grip, so I've got the grip in plenty of time, so I'm not panicking. I've already changed the grip. I'm hitting top spin. Now I've already going to slice. And top spin. And slice. So it's a lot of fun, and it really helps you understand the variety in your game. And then what we can do is we can hit a top spin, approach, change the grip, volley. Also like to work on a double chip, chip and charge, and volley. All right, so now the moment of truth, but the most fun, the best workout, is we're gonna alternate everything. We're gonna go top spin forehand, top spin backhand, chip forehand, chip and charge backhand, volley, volley, go back and do it again, follow my lead, and we're gonna get a lot of different little variations of top spin and slice so that we're becoming devastating out there. I'm telling you, if you wanna dominate tennis at your local level, this is the best drill for you to do. Hit a top spin forehand. Now I'm gonna hit a chip forehand. Now I'm already in that toss and backhand grip. Hit a toss and backhand, a chip backhand. Again, toss spin forehand, chip forehand. Then we're gonna to come to toss and backhand. Now watch this, now I'm gonna chip and charge and forehand volley, backhand volley. Oh, I'm waiting, here we go. Go back, do it again. I'm gonna go start with a forehand chip this time. Forehand chip, forehand rip, and backhand rip. And now I'm gonna chip and charge off the forehand. Come on in. Let's do a forehand volley. Let's do two forehand volleys. And let's switch over. And let's get two backhand volleys on this. And what you can do is just keep having a good time playing the flow, work on changing your grips from top spin to slice, to slice, to come into the net, and just kinda do whatever you're feeling so you get all that variety in your game. a lot of fun the fast track has won because I'm exhausted I'm sweating like crazy this is the best thing you can do for your technique and if you want one of these somewhere on this page I've got a discount link for you so look for that and you can get one of these in your garage <laughs>